Hold on. It's another day of mini camp here at Pirate City, and we're joined by the Pittsburgh Pirates second baseman and Neil Walker. Uh, take me back on your journey to where you are now and kind of what it's been like along the ride uh, through the minor leagues and, and what you've learned each step of the way. Well, it's, uh, it, was, it was definitely a long road, um, you know, but you learn a lot over the, along the way. Uh, you know, the, the, the different levels that you go, the people that you meet, the relationships you make, and uh, the strides you make as a person, as a player, uh, you know, have definitely helped mold me into the person and the player that, I, that I've become today. And, um, you know, now it's about, uh, you know, finding ways to, to continue to improve and, and continue to, uh, uh, you know, not just improve myself, but the team as well. So, um, you know, those are some of the things that, that you go through as, as a minor leaguer, but uh, each bump in the road and each uh, success helps you grow. Anything kind of unique to, to your experience that you'll remember uh, in a positive light, things that are in, in a couple of years you'll look back at and laugh at? Uh, I mean, just, just the certain situations with, with teammates and, and the, the amount of fun that you, you have on the road and in the clubhouse and, and during games and uh, the, the diverse group of people that you meet uh, and teammates and people that you play and uh, the funny experiences. But, uh, you know, nothing really, not one particular moment comes to mind. But... Uh, you know, the, it's it's definitely a fun atmosphere uh, when you're, you're getting around guys, and you would think it wouldn't be. It would, you know, could 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 be the other way around just because you spend so much time with with guys. But it really does become a family atmosphere um, uh, each year in and year out. And you know, the tougher parts are, are, are the road trips that uh, you, you know in the minor leagues, the, the bus trips, the 14-hour drives, and playing the next day. But um, you know, at the same time, like I said, it, it, those those kind of situations help you grow. We're we're on M's TV, so we're dealing with guys that are playing at Class A Advanced right now in Bradenton. Uh, so if I can ask you to recall your time in Lynchburg and, and playing <laughs> at that level, uh, what's different to, to High A uh, compared to other stops along the road? I think High A is a, a, a stop uh, where players are really starting to come into their own. Um, for for me, the biggest jump was was. Uh, you know, high A to Double A in, in my mind, just because um, for the most part in High A, the the, the, the pitchers have a certain uh, pitch count, and uh, a lot of times in certain counts they have to throw certain pitches. So, um, but guys, you really see guys start to fine tune uh, their secondary pitches. They're starting to uh, locate fastballs a little bit better, and on the offensive end, guys are really starting to come into their own and starting to um, you know trust their mechanics and, and go out and play as opposed to critiquing every at bat and things like that. And, that, that's that's what I learned uh, for most of my time in uh, in high A. Take me through uh, the meeting you guys had a couple of days ago, uh, and, and we'll we'll leave it there with uh, what you guys told the minor leaguers uh, as a major league team when they got a chance to pick your brain. Yeah, I mean the the, the biggest thing that uh, you know we tried to, to convey to them was that um, you know th through your trials and tribulations and, and through through the hard times you have to um, just continue to grind it out, and you know the. the there's not a huge difference between um, minor leaguers and big leaguers um, outside of consistency and outside of, um, you know, uh, learning to play day in, day out and learning to deal with uh, the 0 for 4s uh, or, or the slumps or the, um, you know, back to back bad starts uh, from a pitcher's end and, and learning to get over those quickly and continue to move forward. And I think when you're in the minor leagues, you, you're, you're, you get so caught up with the numbers and, and who's in front of you, who's behind you. and um, you know those sort of things when really you should be focusing focusing on how can I get better, how can I improve, and also how can I make my teammates better. And um, you know the longer you play, the more you realize that uh, when you're focusing on what you need to do to, to to prepare yourself on a daily basis and to get better, um, you know the sky's the limit. And I, I think that uh, the young players uh, once they once they they get that, it's it, it, it's it's fun and it makes the game a lot more enjoyable when when you're not worrying about uh, you know. Going 0 for, 0 for 5 in a game or, or, or having a bad outing. Neil, thanks. All right, thanks for having me.